All right. Welcome back. And uh, now it's my great pleasure to introduce pianist colleague, friend of mine for many years. We've enjoyed so many collaborations and his music is incredibly suitable and delightful and enchanting for flute and piano. Uh, please welcome Mr. Brian Pezzoni on the piano. And we'd like to start out this portion of the program with three originals of his. Uh, the first one is called Dancing Hearts, followed by Skipping, then followed by Ski Ball.
like to play Skippy. microphone, but we'd like to uh, continue now with skee-ball. And when I first met Brian many, many years ago, I asked him, I didn't know that he composed, I knew that he was an amazing pianist, and uh, 
he sat down and started playing this piece that just totally took me away. And ultimately I had the courage to ask him if he would record it for me. And on the piano, very piano he's playing right now, he actually, it's a recording piano. It's called a disc clavier. He was kind enough to record this piece called Ski Ball. And to this day, whenever I'm in any kind of close to a depressed or foul mood, I go straight to the piano, call up Ski Ball and play along with Brian. I need a break. 
And it's with incredible pleasure that I bring on the executive director, the program director of the Beyond the Masterclass 2020. She's a phenomenal executive, but even a better piccolo player. And you're going to hear some dazzling, amazing piccolo playing and some pretty good flute uh, piano playing over there. And I hope I turn the pages properly. Please welcome Diana Morgan. She'll tell you about the piece. Hello, thank you so much for that lovely intro, Jim. I really appreciate that and this opportunity to play for you all in Ju Jim's beautiful home. This piece is by Daniel Dorf and it's called Flash. It's well named, it's very flashy, very upbeat and it hits the ground running. Plenty of flourishes and jazzy moments. I hope you enjoy hearing it as much as we enjoy playing it.
incredible Diana thank you so much the piccolo can play loud but she shows you the piccolo can seriously play soft that was really really wonderful uh, the next piece that we're going to have is a flute choir version of one of the most beautiful pieces I've heard and played this is by another incredible colleague pianist composer friend of mine Michael Garson the name of the uh, composition is song for Susan and part of the plan for the Beyond the Masterclass each year is that we get all of the students involved in at least one or two flute choir pieces. And this year, we had a strong contingent of young performers, so we wanted to do something that was really beautiful, really melodic, that gave them a chance to be a part of a flute team. So we'd like to play right now with the Young Performers Flute Choir, Song for Susan by Mike Garson.
Hello again. The next piece that we're going to play is one of my all-time favorite composers. Me. Just kidding. Uh, I am not a composer of <laughs> true value or worth, but I have written two pieces of music, and I always like to play one or two of them here and there. This is a piece I wrote back in the 80s with my then 10-year-old son, uh, Kip, and it's a piece that was named for two cats who lived with me, Blackie and Max. So it's kind of a blues, except it's a 14-bar blues, not a 12-bar blues, and it has a bridge. So we'd like, like to play Blackie and Max for you now. Thank you so much. The next piece we're going to play is by an amazing composer who seems to be really fantastic at codifying the language of jazz, especially Latin jazz and bebop, into a readable form that pianists of all ilk and flutists of all ilk are able to sound pretty cool. Uh, it's really clever music. It's really very catchy music. And we're going to play one of the movements from one of the first pieces that I ever heard from Mr. Mike Mower. as an English composer, and it is pronounced Mower, according to himself. And this is the third movement of his Sonata Latino, and it's called Bossa Marangova. And it's a combination of the Bossa Nova and the Merengue. So for those of you who understand those rhythms, you'll hear those mixed in and out. So I'm going to get a little music help here. Thank you. 
Mike Moore's uh, Bossa Marangova from the Sonata Latino. And now it gives me really great pleasure to introduce my friend and colleague, Mr. Barack Basir. And I was just reminded while I was thinking uh, during Diana's beautiful uh, presentation of Flash that when I introduced the Marriage of Figaro, I forgot to introduce the players. You need to hear that. It was Jim Walker, it was Diana Morgan, it was Emma Nyman, and Barack Basir playing alto flute. And this next uh, video collection you're going to hear is a representation of the beautiful compositions that he writes for the ethnic flutes.
That was incredible, Barack. Thank you. And while we're giving credit to Barack, he also f put together all of the video compilations of the flute choir, and he is running audio, but I need to give special kudos and thanks to Eddie Manessis, who is in another life, Mr. Diana Morgan. And he has done an amazing job of putting together all of the video, all of the technological uh, gymnastics that had to be run in order to get this concert to go live stream and to be a part of the Beyond the Masterclass. So thanks to Eddie and Barack. Great job, guys. Uh, I originally mentioned earlier that we played the Marriage of Figaro for four flutes, but of course that's the way Mozart imagined it. And then uh, if that's not enough, when he wrote his C major piano sonata, I'm sure he had in mind not only being played by a flute choir, but definitely with improvisation. So here is the Beyond the Masterclass 2020 flute choir playing Moe's Art.
There's nothing like a flute choir playing a jazzified version of Mozart. <laughs> Many years ago, when I uh, first started my undergraduate back at the University of Louisville, there was a jazz quartet that gained an incredible amount of popularity, even cracking through on the pop charts. It was the Dave Brubeck Quartet. And the first piece that got a lot of fame and acclaim was called Take Five. And shortly thereafter, he uh, came out with an, another album that included a piece called Blue Rondo a la Turc, which actually is also based a little bit on Mozart. So I've been playing it off and on with my group Free Flight over the years and decided to create a flute duet version to feature my colleague. And Brian is going to play the role of Dave Brubeck, who was trying to stand having two flute players play his music. So we'd like to play our version of Blue Rondo a la Turk.
That was a nice workout. Thank you so much, Diana, for everything. Obviously, musicianship, fluting, piccoloing. Uh, we've got one more piece we'd like to play uh, to end the recital. This is featuring the music of one of the most amazing genius talents in the history of the planet. That would be George Gershwin, uh, happens to be an American composer, pianist. And uh, over the years in free flight, both with uh, Brian Pizzoni and with Mike Garson, we've ended almost every concert with a tribute to George Gershwin, playing various uh, songs that he wrote, some quotes from the Concerto in F, Porgy and Bess, uh, just American in Paris, lots of different things. Uh, before we close out with this final piece, I want to give special thanks once again to Eddie Manessis, Barack Basir, Brian Pezzoni, Diana Morgan, unseen but behind the scenes, Emma Nyman, who's done an amazing job, and Bentley Walker. Good boy. <laughs> he loves his music. Okay, so here's our tribute to George Gershwin. Thanks so much for tuning in and for those members of the Beyond the Master class. Thank you so much for uh, investing your time and money and energy to be a part of this first online experience.
All right, social distance applauding, I love it. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, once again, thanks to all the classmates, class members of Beyond the Masterclass 2020. Again, for Brian Petzoni, Diana Morgan, Eddie Manessis, Barack Basir, and Emma Nyman. Thank you so much. For those in the class, see you tomorrow morning for Orchestral Day. Good night. <laughs>